guys welcome back to my channel my name is Cameron. if you are new here don't forget to subscribe and leave me a comment below but let's just get right into this look starting off with the anastasia beverly hills dip brow and i'm also using the 7b eyebrow brush to line under my eyebrows just to give it like a blueprint of where i want to start and where i want to finish i don't normally go all the way to the front and if i do i do it very lightly so that it's kind of not looking like a box. I hate boxy eyebrows, like I freaking hate it. So when I first started using dip brow, I never used to go on the top of my eyebrow and it used to look so jacked up. Like, I don't know why I didn't do it, but I didn't. So now I always make sure that I like brush my hairs down, then make the line and brush my hairs back into place. That way everything's getting covered, but it's not gonna be a line up there if that makes sense. Okay, so I definitely think I'm just going to like film an in-depth eyebrow tutorial and I'm going to get my words together so it sounds more understandable. So if y'all are interested in that, let me know. But look at this eyebrow, y'all. Snatched. To clean up under my eyebrows, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and Tan Sand. I'm also using a Morphe 508 brush to clean up under there. And this is the easiest brush to use because it's very precise and it gets right in the little creases, even if you got a lot of hair or anything. I love this part of doing my makeup. Like, I could sit here and watch this all day. Like, I don't know why this is so satisfying, but I love it. Eyebrows gel is not really like a necessity but i've been really loving it because i have really extremely curly eyebrows like they curl so bad at the end they curl like my hair is so fucking weird like i hate it but this is the only thing that kind of gets my brows to stay down and it's tinted so it's, it's actually helping fill it in at the same time this is the cabral gel by benefit and so now I'm just patting down my concealer under my eyes. And I like to do this with a brush so that I can get way more coverage before I put my eyeshadow on. I do not set my concealer with setting powder when I'm doing my eyeshadow because I feel like it makes the... It kind of just dries my eyes out, really. Like, other people have other reasons, but that it definitely dries my eyes out. And it makes the shadow look weird so i found that just doing the concealer and then putting the eyeshadow on is more pigmented you're gonna get more out of your eyeshadow but if you want to set it girl be my guest that's you that's just how i choose to do it so to start off i'm just using the jacqueline hills her first palette her first venture with morphe i'm using that palette it's the og palette is really really good um, so I started off with the burnt orange color, and I'm sorry guys, I do not have the palette at hand right now, so I cannot really tell y'all the colors. Maybe I'll list them below, but I started off with this burnt orange, and I just put that all over the crease. And then I went in with a, a color that was like two shades darker, so it was like a brownish color, and I just put that on the outer corner and blend it out. And then I did end up having to put more of the burnt orange color back in because it did get washed out. And then I went to the James Charles palette also with Morphe. And I got this black shade. This black shade is so pigmented. I love this black shade. Like, he knew what he was doing. Taking this golden shimmer shade from the James Charles palette. And I'm just packing it on my lid without doing a cut crease. And I did off camera add some e.l.f. glitter on top just to make it pop a little more because it wasn't it wasn't pigmented enough for me eyeshadow papers i got from elf are at target for like two dollars i went and got like 20 packs of them <laughs> but they honestly do help and they look way better than the clear tape your girl's trying to upgrade look a little professional eyeliner is from wet and wild and i got it from walmart it's like three dollars i want to say it's no more than like four dollars seriously but um it's a really good eyeliner like it's kind of better than some of the ones i paid like twenty dollars for if you know what i'm saying if y'all want a drugstore i really want to film a drugstore video so if y'all interested in that let me know like go on instagram and dm me and let me know 
eyes are done, I always make sure that I prime before I do this next step with the foundation over my eyebrows because I don't want it to be dry. And then when you go to blend the other foundation with the foundation you put over your eyebrows, ugh, that was a lot to say. It's like, it's really dry and it doesn't look right. And it's like, you gonna have two different finishes on your skin. Don't do this stuff with concealer because I don't want it to be highlighted over my eyebrow. Like I don't, it doesn't look right on me. But if you do like to do that, you can do this step, this step with the concealer after you do the eyebrow under whatever floats your boat. But I found that the foundation makes it look way more natural and it blends in better. So I was looking for this brush forever because I've been following Kiki Adams and she always says this is the best foundation brush. It's the one she uses on all her clients. But y'all, I could not find this brush anywhere. And then one day I was walking through Ulta and they had it and it was on sale at the at that point. Y'all gotta watch out for Ulta sales because everything be on sale and you don't even know about it. Like, but yeah, whole point of this was to say this is a great foundation brush for packing it on your skin. And then sometimes I do go behind with a beauty blender. I wanted to make sure that I put in like a little mini how to contour highlight tutorial because a lot of people have been asking me about this because I always film this while I'm like on my Instagram stories. But you can't see that if you're not following me. So definitely click the link below and go follow me. But seriously, I love to contour so I can't wait to film this video. It might be one of my next videos. But to contour today, I'm just using the Wet n Wild contour stick. Um, it's like $3 at Walmart. Really good stick. And then I'm doing the Fenty Beauty also in 310 for the concealer. As I'm going and blending out my makeup, I make sure that I'm blending my contour in with my highlight so that it looks together. I don't want it to look like, oh, I blended out my contour and I forgot to blend out my highlight. So you gotta always use the bottom of your beauty blender and blend everything together. And I also make sure that my beauty blender is damp and when I say damp, guys, I mean damp with water. I used to watch tutorials. I'm like, what the hell is the beauty blender supposed to be damp with? And nobody would ever say it. It's water, guys. Damp it with water, wring it out, towel dry it a little bit, and then you're, you're set. I'm blending out your nose contour. I would recommend that you use a way smaller brush than this. I couldn't find the brush that I usually use, and I had to go to work, so it is what it is. But... Definitely make sure that you always blend it out into your eyebrows. I got that from TaylorMade. You know her, everybody knows her. But she, I was watching one of her videos and I was like, what am I supposed to do with the end of my contour? And she blends it into her eyebrows and I was like, that's freaking genius. Like, and it make it look extra snapped. So, tip of the day. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Banana Setting Powder and I'm just gonna clean up the side of my contours, clean up under my eyes, clean up the contour on the side of my face. And I am gonna make sure that when I'm doing my under eyes, I'm patting it into my skin. Just going under my eyes with that burnt orange color, just to give it a little bit more depth and look a little bit more, mm. I don't know what the mm is, but you know that mm. <laughs> So now that I'm sitting here like going through this and putting voiceovers over this, it kind of does seem like I do a lot of stuff, which I do, but it does not take me long at all, y'all. Like, it takes me 20 minutes to finish off my face. Like, the thing that takes the most would be the eyeshadow. And that's just because I just been doing extra stuff. It's just fun. Using the Morphe Under Eye Bullet to dust off all the powder and make sure that my contour looks clean and it's not like patchy anywhere and then i'm going in with this white shade that i told y'all about in the last video from the jacqueline hill palette i always pop this into my under eyes because it just brings the look alive i'm just gonna do my lips off camera and i must finish it off with my morphe setting mist and that's it for this video y'all i hope you liked it comment subscribe put your notifications on i'll see y'all in the next video peace